Nothing warms up the soul quite like a cup of tea. Well, maybe a cocktail would, but what's best is combining the two beverages. We're being joined by Vernon and Tammy Brown, owners of the Spice and Tea Exchange of Sioux Falls. They're in the studio today to show us how we can create the ultimate in boozy teas to keep us comfy all year long. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. It's great to be here again. I mean, there's really nothing better than combining the two. Two favorite things, <laughs> exactly. right? We take, we take our favorite things, tea, yeah. and put a little alcohol in it, Make it and even. have a great time. So since the you know base of both of these is tea, First, you're going to give us a little lesson to make sure we're doing our brewing right. 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 Okay. What we tell people, the, the most important thing with tea is time, temperature, and amount. And if you do that, you'll have a great cup of tea. So at our store, at the Spicy Tea Exchange, all of our teas will come in bags and they'll have instructions on them. So is it boiling water? Is it 180 degrees? Is it a teaspoon, a tablespoon, and then the time? The one that I'm going to make today um, is actually my favorite in the whole store. Okay. It's mint basil. It's an herbal, so it can handle boiling water, which I just boiled this, but um, yeah. it's, it's one tablespoon per eight ounces of water. So I'm going to make 16 ounces of tea for us today. So I have two tablespoons and we'll put boiling water in and then we are supposed to steep it for four to five minutes with an herbal, you can leave it just a little bit longer. We won't wait for it the yeah. whole time, but I'll show people how Perfect. to do it. So I've measured the, the tea inside of here. These are um, infusers that we use at the store. Most of us are older, so we have to make um, darker print on them. <laughs> but I'm gonna fill it up to the 16 ounces with, with the boiling water. These are so handy too, because- They are. You can make, of, you know a different amount right and, it's... and we can make larger amounts at the store they're like a french press without right. the press yeah so then this has a screen it'll strain out as as we pour it'll strain out the the leaves and we'll get a nice cup of tea uh, we use these at the store a lot we sell a lot of these people enjoy using them we also have a lot of things like this you could just put the tea in an in the infuser right in pour here. the water over it steep it with a lid on mm -hmm. and it's done. So there's a lot of different ways to do it, but again, time, temperature, and amount, especially if you have a black tea or a green or a white, it will turn bitter and cloudy yeah. if you break the rules. And then you don't enjoy your tea as much. No, and it'll ruin the alcohol okay, drink. Okay. And we will be, well, we would use this in our second drink, uh, boozy drink we're okay, gonna make, but, but we're not gonna in the first one. First one, what are, you bringing, what are you bringing us first? We're bringing you the Festive French 75, okay. which features Mango Tango, which is our fruitiest tea in the store. Okay. And with gin, today we're using uh, Stony Glacial Lakes uh, oh, yes. gin. That's Glacial one of my Lakes, favorites. yes, and they're a great customer of ours. Yeah. So first of all, you know this, Ashley, right? Yeah, you're gonna, I do. You're gonna we're gonna put this glass in a little water, and then we've got some lemon, lemon lavender sugar. Okay, just that's to what I want because you have all kinds of sugars too. So yes. Right, lavender sugar. The and this one lemon we make right at there. the store. Uh, we use our culinary grade lavender, grind it very fine, have lemon zest and sugar, and it's, it's a huge seller. really makes a difference in your cocktail mm -hmm. when you have those extra presentation pieces and flavor palettes yes. just kind of like floating over the top of it, right? It just, yeah, and the smell yeah, too, that lavender smell. smell. So uh, an hour beforehand, this is the gin, mm -hmm. and uh, just two ta uh, tablespoons of mango tango tea that I just left in there and infused it for about an hour. Okay. The longer the better. Right. Um, so right in the gin. Right in the gin. Okay. Just leave it in there. A tea bag works best to, to hold it. Uh, normally I would use a jigger, but we're gonna, for sake of time, measure it all right here. And then I'm gonna have you shake it up. So we're gonna do two ounces of that mango tango infused gin. And then I made a simple syrup with mango tango. Tammy, you wanna explain how we do that? So when we make a simple syrup in the store, we could use our sugars right. and then we can also use a tea to make the simple syrup but we just use a one-to-one -one. okay so if we use an ounce of water we use an ounce of sugar you can um, really kind of layer the layers right. too okay. right so i got that and then an ounce of that and then an ounce of lemon juice this is already looking amazing this one, we practiced yeah. on, <laughs> these we practiced on practiced this on one these. okay um and then we're gonna shake this up Rumor has it, you know how to do this, I Ashley. do know how to do this. I mean, I've had some experience in my day, and it's not just in, in thinking about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Over both shoulders? Do right. you flip it? Yeah, and... yeah, right. I'm not going to risk, risk, risk uh, losing this one. Okay, ready? Go ahead and divide it up between the two. Ooh, this smells so good. I, the fragrance in the teas, it really does make a difference. 
Yeah. People love the scent of our store. They come in in yeah. just a great mood because that olfactory scent. Yeah, perfect. And then you just top it off with champagne, in this case, Prosecco. My favorite. Prosecco is Italian, <laughs> champagne, French. Ooh, and then it uh -oh. just hits the rim oh, a little bit. Oh, no, oh, I got too it. Much. It's okay, I got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste it right away. Okay. Oh, that's amazing. The sugar adds so much to it. The tea, it really gives it a little, a lot of extra flavor with that kind of like. Okay, I'm gonna keep enjoying this. Show me the next one. <laughs> so the next one is called Mint Basil Collins. And in this one, we're going to use four ounces of gin straight. This has like a freshness to it, but it also has these like extra layers that come in after the first sip. So you right. get that first initial taste as you start to drink it and the sugar, and then you start to get that like aromatic floral. It, it almost looks like it would be a mango Do you mimosa. Need this back? I need that back. I need that. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but it, right, the more you let it sit on your tongue and you get some of that lavender sugar, there's, there's definitely layers of flavor. Right. Ooh. And I suppose you really could take this kind of concept of the French 75 and sort of play around with the different teas right. you have, too. So we have people come into our store and, and it's really kind of fun. They just stand there. Yeah. And they right. just ponder. They'll look at the herbal teas, they'll look at the sugars, and then they'll just start kind of picking. swiping things off and yeah. you know off the shelves. We also have a lot of recipe cards and on our website we have many drinks to make with our teas. So. I've always done that for like stocking stuffers is grab the different ingredients like grab one of your recipe right. cards and some of the tea ingredients and then have that be like a stocking. Okay. All We're right, so done. I've got four ounces of gin, two and a half ounces of simple syrup that is infused with this, the, the mint basil, Ooh. and then two ounces of lemon juice. We're ready for that to be shaken up. And I bet the mint basil would also go really well in like a, a mojito or a mint or something. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think mint basil goes well with everything. I think it's your favorite. But this drink, I was not necessarily sold when Vernon first made it. I thought, mmm, She's I not a gin, gin fan. But I love mint basil. I'll try it, and now you're kind of hooked. This one does, you finish with soda water, or you can use Prosecco or champagne. Right. Uh, I just well, brought the not? two alcohols with, so we got to empty the bottle, don't we, Ashley? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, I'm going to, okay, so cheers to this. Cheers. Thank you so much. You want... That's the best I've ever had. Okay, <laughs> so make your tea, enjoy it all afternoon, and then use the tea for your cocktails tonight. We'll be right back after this.